and welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending September 13th, 2019. Starting with more news about Weathering With You, the latest movie by Makoto Shinkai. Uh, it has been dominating the box office in Japan over the past few weeks. And um, as of last week, it surpassed The Wind Rises, how Miyazaki's most recent film, um, in terms of grossing money, which is pretty impressive. Sold 9 million tickets so far. It is the 8th highest earning Japanese film of all time in Japan. Um, and now the number... Um, um, I'm sorry, it is now the number 6th. It was the number 8th. So pretty darn impressive. Um, it is the highest grossing film in Japan this year. As you're topping the live action Aladdin film. Thank goodness. So yes, it has done more business than any other um, film period in Japan, domestic or international. Wow. Congrats, Makoto Shinkai and all the rest. Pretty darn amazing. Um, moving on, some interesting news this week from TM Revolution. Whoops, that's the wrong image. <laughs> we will fix that. Sorry about that. Um, TM Revolution, of um, who's a, a singer who's involved in the Gundam Seed franchise, uh, announced or, or mentioned this week that he talked to the staff behind Gundam Seed and said that the legendary Gundam Seed movie is still moving along in pre-production. Uh, now, this is a uh, work that had been has been planned ever since uh, the um, the Seed universe sort of ground to a halt after the writer of the Seed universe sadly got very ill and ultimately passed away. Um, Gundam Seed and Seed Destiny and the rest were, were made by a husband and wife team, husband directing, uh, wife writing, and she sadly uh, became ill and, and again passed. And ever since then there's been, and there was a big movie planned around Gundam Seed. It was a very successful franchise or sub-franchise within Gundam, and that has kind of gone into limbo, but according to Team Revolution, they are moving forward with that. So here's hoping that we will actually see more from that universe in the future, because it kind of died soon, uh, kind of um, died before its time, sadly. Moving on, um, how would you like the entire soundtrack, the original Fooly Cooly, on vinyl? That's right. Um, there is an upcoming vinyl release of the soundtrack for the original 2000 OVA Fooly Cooly, FLCL. It'll be released November 11th as a 2LP set in this gatefold packaging. Uh, it'll include lyrics. It is a one-time print run, limited edition, using masters supplied by King Records in Japan. Um, there are further uh, soundtracks planned in this format in the future, but not for Fooly Cooly. Um, Pretty darn amazing, um, and uh, yeah, you'll be able to get Fully Cooly on vinyl. Kind of, kind of crazy, but hey, pretty darn cool. Speaking of crazy but cool, uh, some announcements of upcoming licenses. Crunchyroll has announced that they have licensed the Saga of Tanya the Evil movie, and they will stream it for users worldwide except Asia and German-speaking countries, because presumably they already have their own licensing of it. Um, and um, it will uh, release. I don't have actually here a news about when it's going to uh, launch it. Maybe they're already. Check Crunchyroll. That would be uh, pretty nice if that's already um, out there and available. Uh, also, Funimation and Hulu will both be simulcasting My Hero Academia Season 4 starting October 12th, uh, same day it premieres in Japan. Uh, Funimation will be streaming it in the U.S., Canada, U.K., Ireland, and Australia. And Funimation will also stream, uh, stream an English simuldub, but in the future. So that will be pretty cool. This will be the Hero Intern arc, which started in the 14th volume. And that will be um, out there and available. So those of you interested in My Hero Academia, don't have much longer to wait. Same thing with fans of One Punch Man. Toonami has announced they will be showing Season 2 of One Punch Man starting October 12th on the network um, as part of Adult Swim. Um, and this will be, let me see here, um, October 12th. They have not announced a time slot yet as of this recording. But yes, you'll be able to watch more One Punch Man October 12th. Good for those interested in such things. Uh, moving on to our final news item of the week, a uh, sad news item. Michael Lindsay, a voice actor, passed away this week. 
um, according to his Facebook page, um, uh, also known under the name of Dylan, of, sorry, Dylan Tully, uh, and he voiced uh, Kisuke Urahara in Bleach, Kankuro in Naruto, uh, Greymon and Joe Kido in Digimon Adventure and Digimon Season 2, Apollo in Zatch Bell, Amuro Ray in the Gundam movie dubs, uh, Shinichiro Tamaki in Kogias Lelouch of the Rebellion, uh, both seasons, uh, and a number of other uh, other roles. So very sad to uh, hear that. Also worked in a number of video games, um, including Samurai Warriors, Warriors Orochi, Dinosaur Warriors 4, uh, and others. So sad news for that, and obviously our condolences to all those involved. That's all the news for this week. Thank you for watching.